everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Paper Mario! In the previous episode we delivered some letters, got some very nice presents, presents from an anonymous supporter of us. I don't know, might have been Merle, might have been the Penguin Mayor, could have been... Dead Twink. Ugh. Or it could be this guy. So, in today's episode we're going to be delivering a letter to Goompa Pa, but first... Chuck Quizmo's here, hey eh? Chuck Quizmo! Quiz! Yeah! I hope I'm not getting too annoying! Let's get to the question! What color is Bowser's hair? Yellow! Not red. Yeah, Chuck Quizmo's questions really aren't the most mind-boggling, unless it's like a previous chapter you haven't done in a while. So we get another star piece. We've been getting these like crazy lately. In fact, there are actually no star pieces in Chapter 8, so we're going to be getting all of the star pieces before we even finish with... Like, we're going to get all the star pieces before we even start Chapter 8. That's kind of crazy to me. Anyway, Goompapa, how are you doing? It must be pretty gloomy around the castle, huh? I'm sure the people there depend on you, Mario. The only way to help them is to beat Bowser and save Princess Peach. So you, you should bury and stuff. Okay, so, give you letter. Here you go, Goompapa. So, can I have my star piece? Hey, that ain't thanks much for life, Mr. Postal Worker. No oh, great news. Uh, fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. And I can't wait. Oh, sorry to pile work on you, but, uh, can, can I give you a letter? If it's all possible for you, I could deliver this letter to a town named Musty. He hangs around the castle gardens. I really appreciate it. So we get a letter for delivering a letter. Huh. So fun fact about the letter we just delivered, it was actually one of the first letters we ever got way, way back in Mount Rugged when we first met Paracary. So this is a very interesting side quest. We're gonna get into that. Anyway, we're gonna go find that toad. Be back in a few. Alright, so Musty is this really, really weird toad that just kind of sits in the crater all by himself. Yeah, if you're ever wondering about him, this is his purpose. I beg of you, Mario, save all of those poor captives in the castle. Alright! Oh, crap, we forgot there are captives in the castle and they've just kind of been rotting. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Oh, just wait for one moment. Yeah, Perry Carey's not going to do the entire speech over again. Oh, it's from Mr. Goompapa. Oh, that old codger. We think alike, he and I. Like sitting in craters and complaining about fences. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long, indeed. I've just been so enamored by this crater. I just can't... I can't stop sitting in it. It's just so... Oh, your timing is perfect. This letter is my friend. His name is Coover, and he lives in Koopa Village. I'd like to you deliver this him. I'll bet he's near the entrance of the village. He usually hangs out in front of the Toad House. That's right on the edge of town. Uh, no big rush, but it would be nice if he got it soon. So we got yet another letter. Well, we might as well deliver this. Burn your house to the ground! That was weird. Hey, Colorado! Colorado's wife. I don't even think she's ever given a name. Chuck Quizmo! Buddy! Let's take a quiz. Yeah, sure. I'll spend time with you. I'm only doing a weird side quest. A question! How many star spirits do you have to save? Well, I already did save seven. I mean... I mean, get with the times, Chuck. Congratulations! Here's yet another star piece! So, 18 questions so far, so we really have... Okay, to be perfectly honest, we're not even halfway done, but we're getting them out. We're getting them out quite quickly. Anyway, are you Coover? Oh, it's been a while since I'm shopping in Toad Town. I have the same voice as the toad that just kind of hangs in the crater. I don't know why. I bet I could read all of your adventures in the newspaper there. What? I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue, I was just going on my own little tangent. Okay, so let's deliver this other letter to him, so can we have our star piece, please? 
Oh, hey, thanks. You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? This is a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines, like shouting at fences and getting our shells stolen by fuzzies. Does he have a shell? He's one of my fishing pals, I tell you. If you don't fish, you should! Oh, what a hobby! All the coolest people fish, like Big the Cat! And, uh... Uh... It's... It, he's voiced by John St. John! He's voiced by Duke Nukem! Of course he has to be cool! And to think I was just about to send a letter to all my fishing buddies! Oh, good! Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Must. Tea. So could you send this along? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town port. He's easy to find. Thanks again, and we need to send a letter to Fish Mail at Toad Town Port. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? Hey there, giant flappy mouth fuzzipede abusing man who I have a terrible voice for. I love to see your tales of the seven seas fish for fish. Uh, yeah. Addressed to a person fishing at the port. Ah, oh, this must be you. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe hey, I have one for you. Here you go, fish mail. Get it, ish man. Paracary, you just kind of clicked through me. That was weird. Oh. What's this then? Shiver me timbers! Word from Coover! Moss T said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's going the got the fishing bug! Time for a fishing trip! You should come along, Mario! Yo, oh, that reminds me, I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Him? Why the Koopa Trooper asked you to bring this letter to me? Coover's the name! Yar, and take good care of the lover fish. So we have to deliver a letter back to Coover. This is gonna be one of those quests, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Chuck Quizmo? Oh my god, I totally called that! Chuck Quizmo, how you doing, buddy? Okay, so... Question! What's the name of the elderly Koopa Troopa? Oh, how could I forget old Koop? Koopa Crab. So, thank you very much for the star piece. I've kind of been running short on those, considering the amount of letters I've delivered. Hey, Coover! So, we just got delivering that letter you asked us to deliver. It's been a long while since I've been shopping in Toad Town. And he says the same exact thing. By the way, here you go, Coover. So, can we get a prize yet? Oh, thanks! Cool! It's from my pal! Ah, this must be the answer to my last letter. Oh, thanks for the speedy delivery. Wait, how did he answer the letter so quickly? We didn't see him write something down or... Burp. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take it? It's to Mr. E, who lives in the desert? He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the toad house. He wears a blue turban. That's racist. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. So, Mr. E in Dry Dry Outpost. There's a guy living in the desert who regularly enjoys fishing. Okay. Oh, cleared it. Yeah, I really don't even have to cut away for this one. What am I talking about? He's right here. Alright, uh... Oh wait, the Toad House is over here. Has it really been that long? Has it really been that long since, since I've been in the outpost? Alright, Blue Turban, Blue Turban... Hey, Blue Turban! What's your name? Mr. E, right. Yeah, I don't care what you have to say, just take my letter. Take my letter, give me a star piece, and I'll just, I'll just leave you alone. There you go, buddy. Put that right in your face. Ah, gee, thanks. Ooh, looks like an order from Koopa Village. That's really racist. Sounds like... <laughs> kind of reminds me of the guy from the beginning of Aladdin. Oh, no, too close! This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. 
Oh, so wait, do you sell fishing gear? That's weird. Hey, uh, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter the next time you're in Toad Town? To Miss T. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. Oh boy, let's see how many times it takes me to get this one right. So she's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Dojo, eh? We've never actually been in the dojo. I wonder if we're gonna go there. Wink, wink. Wink. Alright, so which one of you is Miss T? Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Yeah, Mario, you rock. <laughs> I know. M A A Mario, good luck! Woo! I'm rooting for you! I Felicity will cheer for you without rest, so obviously it's not her. Okay, so it's not you, not you, by process of elimination. At least it wasn't the very last person. Man, these girls are really, really dig me. Are you Miss T as I'm shoving my butt in your face? The name's Paracarry! Here, have a whiff. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> he just flew backwards into her. Ah, uh, that's... Ugh. Who is this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super, super popular. So we went from fishing trip to ordering stuff to plain creepy letters from strangers. But enough about me. I'm so lucky you came just now, Mr. Postman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner at Dry Dry Outpost. I was just there. Thank you very much. I order lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's not so easy staying this beautiful. It takes work. Will you please deliver this? Thank you. And we got another letter. So, time to deliver that letter to the pink mouse that runs the shop with all the buying sequences to get red vases and Mustafa words of bleh. dry dry outpost that's that's the moral of the story dry dry outpost mr mouse guy i have a letter for you no 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 okay there we go i can talk to people All right, Pear Carry, do your thing, and maybe now we'll finally get our reward. Oh, thanks. Yes, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. <laughs> Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She's order ordering thing all the way. What do you have that could count as a beauty product? Because I don't think that hammer in the background really counts. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. Okay, so he actually answered my question. That's pretty cool. You can find them in the Oasis if you make juice with those things. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of funny it says that, because I really actually don't think you can make juice with taste tea with the lemons and limes. Oh, hang on. Almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. I wonder what he's going to ask me. Yep, and I'm going to Boo's Mansion? Wow! So, Frankie and Boo's Mansion. Sure, Mr. Pinkish Purplish Mouse Man. Whatever you say. Hi, are you Frankie? You don't have a weird pun with your name, so I'm gonna guess you're Frankie. Yep, you're Frankie. That's good. Kind of funny how a lot of the characters have these pun inspired names and then the boos are just like oh you're frankie you're igor you're jeffrey you're paul you're xavier oh great it's finally in this is from a guy i know who deals in useful items from all over the world like lemons and limes because those are very tropical he has a great eye for items he just got something in that i wanted for a long time oh it's the coolest thing Oh, wow, I almost forgot. Could you deliver this from me? Sorry if it's a bother. No, no, it's not a bother. I've just done this like 27 times today. So, a toad child? Wow. 
What do you want to send a letter to the little boy for, Mr. Boo? I kind of don't feel like I should be delivering this, but... I've come this far, I might as well, right? I want to get paid somehow. You gotta make a living somehow, you can't just go around saving the princess, being Mario, going woohoo, spending all your coins on Ch Rip Cheeto, getting a lot of crappy items for and some pretty good items, admittedly, crying yourself to sleep at night because you haven't saved the princess in the last year and a half. Yeah, stuff like that. But hey, we're finally at the station, right? And by finally, I mean in like... 20 seconds, so it's not all that bad. So, are you the toad? You're dainty. Yes, you are. It's nice of them they root for me. And it's nice of the other toad to just completely just do his own thing now. There you go. Hope they don't have to ca call Child Protective Services. Thanks, mister. Oh, wow. I mean, wow. It's an invitation to a haunted mansion. Yep, I shouldn't have delivered that. I shouldn't have delivered that. I didn't think it would really come. All the kids in Toad Town have been talking about this invitation, wondering if it was for real. But now that it's come, I guess I have to go. Minnie T, are you brave enough to go with me? Still just walking around doing his own thing. Uh, you know, I'm really kind of busy, and, uh, oh yeah, I just had the greatest idea. Let's ask the Yoshi kid from Yoshi's Village to come. How do you know the Yoshis? You just gotta get a letter from that kid last week, didn't you? You know, the letter you got from the island? Let's send a letter back to him and tell him about what a scary adventure we're gonna have. Hey, Mr. Postman, take a letter to the Red Yoshi kid in Yoshi's Village. How old are you kids? What, writing big sophisticated le letters to dinosaurs and... Actually, now that I think about it, that would be pretty badass. Writing a letter to a dinosaur. Dear Bartholomew T-Rex Samson, I have outlined my invitation to you to come clubbing with me. Please send a reply letter ASAP and we are going to have a bomb-ass time. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant tomorrow. And I'm not really gonna have to cut for this one either, am I? Huh. That's kinda cool. Hey, Red Yoshi Kid! Give me Paracarry, give me Paracarry. Now, Red Yoshi Kid, hi! You're the one that I saved from the ambushes, remember? Hoopy, yippee, hooray, you came back, Mario! You came to hang with the five! Tell us all about your adventures over the sea. If you do, we'll tell you all the tricks we played while you were away. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken sushi back. Yeah, I feel like it, there's been a lot of regrets this episode. Sending little kids invitations to big creepy mansions with ghosts that may or may not be pedophiles. Thanks, I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal came up with a new game. I gotta play this later. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, to be perfectly honest, Yu-Gi-Oh! is quite a fun game. But how can I get there? Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. Well, I mean, the, the whale's right there. I mean, is anybody really gonna stop you? Just saying. It's really funny, because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Paracary, will you help? Here, deliver my letter to the toad kid who asked you to send this one to me. So we're going back to the station that we just delivered a letter. Ah. Uh. Hey, Dainty! Hey, buddy! Uh, do you like star pieces? I like star pieces. Can I have a star piece, please? Because that would be that would be really fantastic. Yes, give him the letter. Give him the letter. Here you go, buddy. So, how about that star piece, hmm? Do you have a star piece for me? You're much faster than the old postman, that's for sure. Ah, <sighs> this kid's just as smart as Rusty. The Yoshi kid is really good pen pal, huh? He writes really long letters. 
How does he write long letters? He has stubby little dino arms. We should write back again. Hmm, what do you think we ought to write about? I don't know, maybe you should write a letter to me about how you're gonna give me a star piece. Like right now. Cause that'll be great. In fact, you know what, you just, just, just scratch the letter part. Just, can I have a star piece please? Can I have something? It's a letter from Uncle Frosty in Starborn Valley. He's my uncle, he's up there taking care of lots of star kids. Sounds like a hard job, he has to chase them around all the time. At least that's what he says in the letters he sends. Anyway, I wrote him a letter to take his mind off work. We're going all the way to Starborn Valley. Yeah, this is the reason why I saved this side quest for this point in the game. Because even though it becomes available to you right after you get Perry Carry, you can't complete it until around at least you're like halfway through chapter 7. Hi there! Does your kid like trains? Do I have to deliver this letter to you? No, I do not. Is it this guy I'm looking for? Do I have to deliver the letter to you? No. I actually don't know. Well, you're a nin you're a ninja, so that doesn't make any sense. Are you seriously the only toad that I haven't checked out? What? Because I know Merle lives here. Yeah, where is that other guy? Where are- Of course you're hiding in the corner. Yep, Frosty. Kind of fortunate that your name is Frosty, huh? Oh, how nice! It's a letter from old Dainty and Minnie T. Oh, those naughty little rascals. When I visit their home there, we're always up to something. They write letters to me quite often. It's nice to get letters. Their mail makes me so happy as mail for my wife and daughter. Oh yes, I almost forgot I need a letter delivered. Oh good god, when will this end? I'd like you to take this letter to Goompapa! It's actually a nice reply to the little Goombaria, but I think her dad could explain it to her better. So we're going back to Goompapa. Goompapa, Goompapa, everyone knows. Goompapa, Goompapa, that's not how the song goes. Goompapa, Goompapa, Fiddler's Roof. Goompapa, Goompapa, please don't eat me. You! You're the cause of all of my suffering! I swear to God, if you give me one more letter, I'm gonna... Ah. Here's your damn letter. <gasps> Just give me my star piece. It's all I want. It's all I want. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Mm, oh, interesting. A letter from Gumbari. I guess you could open it. I remember she wrote a letter just the other day and I was wondering what it was. Now see, now I guess it was a question. And this seems to be the answer. It looks pretty complicated, but I think I understand. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you all about it. Thank you so much for the prompt delivery. Here, take this. Happy day! We got the lucky day badge! Holy crap! That was a very, very long chain sequence of letters. And arguably, we got one of the best badges in the entire game for that. Let's take a look at it. Where is it? Where is it? Lucky day, lucky day, lucky day. Lucky day! It takes 7 BP! But this is really, really helpful because... It's kind of like close call, except there's no damage requirements attached to it. And on top of that, you look, enemies will just miss a lot 
So this is a really freaking good badge, so I'm really happy that they put such a good thing at the end of such a long side quest. I've been recording this episode for a half hour, literally. So, thank you! I'm way happier about that now. So that's a really good place to leave off. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario... We're gonna be seeing a lot of this guy. Thank you all for watching, let's play Paper Mario, and I am quite content right now. Ah!